Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of my most expensive makeup that I own. Some of it is super expensive, some of it's like okay. So if you guys are interested in how I got this look and the most expensive makeup that I own, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll jump right into it. Okay, so before we get started, um, just bear with me about my voice, if it goes in or out, or if I seem to kind of be nasally. I am a little bit sick right now, um, so I'm working on fighting that off, but I just wanted to touch base on that before we got started. So I'm going to go ahead and pin my hair back. Basically what I did was I went ahead and went through all of my makeup and found the most expensive item in each category, so like eyeshadow foundation. Uh, mascara all that the only one that I couldn't find like inexpensive was cream contour because I use a concealer a much darker concealer than my skin tone so the only one I have is actually ColourPop and it's six dollars so that's gonna be the most expensive because it's the only one I have so we're gonna jump right in I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can get a better look at what I'm doing we're gonna start with the eyes I am going to go ahead and tell you guys what the prices are I'm also going to put in the description box everything that I used today and how much it cost so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in and then we'll get started again if I seem out of it like I said I'm very sick I look really gross I am aware but <clears throat> this is what we're working with right so I did my eyebrows off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I used so that way at least you know and I will also put it down in the description but I did not do them on camera okay so the three things that I use for my brows are the iconic London and this is the sculpt and boost eyebrow cushion and I actually got this in a boxycharm and I didn't like it at first but I actually have had several chances to go ahead and use it and try it and I actually do like it it does I feel like give me more of a natural brow than the dip brow does and this is $40 by itself and then I go in with the double down brow powder from Urban Decay which again is another one that I did a review on the where I didn't really care for the brow powder too much it wasn't terrible but it just wasn't my favorite but I actually like this one more than the ABH one because I feel like it's a thicker consistency it's more of like a cream powder if that makes sense and less of like a just sheer powder and then this one is $29 and then the ABH clear gel is the one that I like to use to set it all down and that's $22 okay so moving right along into the brows I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my primer down I actually did not use concealer to carve out underneath my brows because I think that they turned out pretty okay sometimes you have an okay brow day sometimes let's just not talk about it so I'm just gonna go right into primer so I'm gonna go in with the morphe translucent eyeshadow primer this is only like ten dollars but it's like the only one I have they're all pretty inexpensive so um this one is also not a very expensive item I did my best with um what I have that's super expensive all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that and then I'm gonna place it on the lids of my eye Okay, so as you can tell, it is a little more translucent than usual because I don't have that concealer underneath to set the entire eye. Alright, so what I'm going to go in is going to be my most expensive eyeshadow palette, which is the Natasha Denona, and this is the All Neutral um, Biba Palette. And just to kind of give you a show of what I have going on in here. This is a very beautiful neutral palette and the shadows are amazing, but for $129 there are several other eyeshadow palettes that are neutral that you can get and they do an amazing job. These are great shadows, I don't want to say that they're not, but it, it just, I don't feel like you have to go out and spend $129 if you don't have it on an eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to go in with a flat brush to get a shimmer color. And I think I'm going to go in with this color Monroe right here. And this is just going to be like an easy eye look that I'm doing. Um, nothing like super fancy, but it, it's actually one of my go-to more glam, like easy glam looks. So I'm going to take that shimmer and I'm going to go ahead and place it on the lid from the inner corner over to the middle. So I'm just placing that right in that inner corner bringing it up just a tad over to the middle these shadows are beautiful like they place really nice 
They don't really need a lot of base. The brush doesn't have to be wet. But again, it's a beautiful palette, but kind of really unnecessarily expensive, I feel like. All right, so now that I have that shimmer laid in from the inner corner up into almost the edge, so I went a little past the middle this time, and that's okay because we're going to blend colors into it, but I try to keep it in the middle so it doesn't go too far. So now I'm going to take a dark brown. Again, if you don't have this palette, it's totally fine. Just find you a dark brown, which is going to be Seed for me, which is right here. And then we're going to go ahead and get a tapered blending brush, and we're just going to pack some of that on the outer corner and try to meet it in with that shimmer. All right, so I'm just taking that color and I'm just lightly packing it on the outer corner and just bringing it over just a little bit. You don't really have to do too much blending right now. You can blend it up a little like I am, but you really don't have to do that right now. We're just focusing on packing that color on there. You can use a packing brush. You can use a more dense brush. It's really up to you. I just prefer to use my tapered brush to do it. Okay, so now that you have that dark on both the eyes, I am going to go in and just blend the harshness just out of this a little bit. And now I'm going to take a lighter um, blending brush, like a um, less dense of a blending brush, and that's going to be my JS5 brush. And I'm going to go in here with Freckle, which is this more of a light taupey brown. It looks a little bit more orange on the screen, but it's not. So I'm going to take from that dark color that I did and I'm literally going to blend over to the inner corner above that shimmer, like right over top of it. And you can do it here on the outside too if you want to give it more of a blended look. And I'm also going to mix a little bit of this tusk in with it too, this tusk right here, just to lighten it up a little bit so it's not as like it's almost coming out freckles almost coming out like orangish on my skin tone so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep blending until that is perfectly blended out on the top so I'm gonna go back in with the original shimmer Monroe and I'm gonna place some more on my lid now that we've kind of like blended it a lot just so it stands out still all right, so like I said, that super easy look that I did, it just takes literally like three to four colors, some blending, and you're good to go. It's going to look a lot better once I put the, once I get everything together. So we're going to move on to the skin real quick, and then obviously go back to like the under eye and all that. So I'm going to go ahead in and actually, I'm going to prime my face first. So the first thing I'm going to be going in to first is going to be the... Tatcha the serum stick. I got this actually for free to try so I don't have the price but I will go ahead and put it on the screen somewhere for you guys to check it out and then also in the description box below but this is the Tatcha serum stick and I just take this one and I just put it in like my lines and like underneath my eye to fill in areas. I'm going to be going in with a primer that is actually just a sample, however it is my most expensive primer. This is the YSL Touche, this is the YSL Blur Primer and this is Blurring and Illuminating Primer and this for a full size is $52. $52. And I just pop some here, 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 and up here. And then I take my fingers and I go ahead and I just rub it all in, pushing it in. It's illuminating. It definitely blurs and smooths, but it also feels like it's just like a hydrating feeling. And now we're going to be going in with the foundation that I picked out, which is La Mer. And this is the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. This is actually my most expensive foundation. Obviously, it's $120. But it's also my least favorite foundation. And I really don't know why. I just don't care for the coverage. I just don't care for the coverage. I don't care for the smell. The smell is so disgusting. Like, I'm not even kidding. It is absolutely atrocious. It's so strong. It has so much perfume in it. I'm just like, ugh, I can feel my skin already breaking out. This is definitely not something that I recommend to you guys. Um, if you want to buy it or you already have it, that's cool. But 
$120 for foundation. It better be like the best thing I've ever put on my face. And also, I better be able to cover like my entire ass with a freaking like dime size drop is all I'm saying. Because all that foundation I just put on my face, and I don't know if you could tell because the camera kind of like blurs it out, but you can still see like under my foundation. So that to me is like a no, absolutely not. Definitely not worth the money for that one. So we're gonna go in with the concealer, which is the Armani, and this is the Power Fabric Concealer, and this is in the shade five. This concealer is $34. And I just go ahead and I pop a little here, a little here, and then just a tad on my chin. It's actually one of my favorite concealers that I do have, I won't lie. It's pricey, but I think it's really, really good. And it's one of those, like, a lightweight, you don't need a whole lot, but it's also kind of, like, illuminating. It's not super, like, thick and cakey under the eye. You can also build it if you want to, like, higher coverage. I usually do about two layers if I want, like, super coverage under my eye, which I'll probably do today. Alright, so before we go ahead and set the under eye, I'm going to go in with that cream contour. And this is actually the ColourPop one I told you was only $6, so... So I just go ahead in and I just do a few dots here, a few dots here, and then here, here. And I do not do my nose, I usually just use a bronzer for that. So I'm going to go in with this new brush that I got and I got it on my um, after Christmas clearance video. I'll go ahead and link that above and you can check it out. It's really super awesome. I got like a lot of like legit stuff for like hella cheap and I just wanted to see how this one all right and so I decided to actually go in with a beauty blender with my cream contour instead of that brush so I actually put a little bit more on for that cream concealer than I wanted to but I think it turned out okay all right so now I'm gonna go ahead in and set the concealer that I put down and I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and this is $39 for the full size. This one was $23. I'm going to go ahead in and just set that under eye. This is actually a really, really good powder. I just have so many freaking setting powders. I don't use just one. So now that we have that set, we're going to go ahead in with our bronzer, which my most expensive was actually a pretty vulgar bronzer. I don't have a lot of super expensive bronzers. And this one retails for, this one is $32, um, and I got this on a boxy charm. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab that in and go right over where I put that way too much cream contour. So we're really going to be brown today. All right, so now the next step is my blush. I don't know why I did that. The next step is going to be my blush, and I'm using the Jouer uh, Bouquet 6, 6 Shade Blush Palette, and this palette was $42 altogether, and I'm going to be going in with this middle color right here, and it is in the shade Marigold. This is like a... It's pink, but it definitely has like some peachy undertones to it. I have so much texture on my skin, it's not even funny. And I like to use a lot of blush. Again, if you're not new here, you already know that. But if you don't like to use a lot of blush, you obviously do not have to. So I do like to use a lot of blush because I like it to just pull. I don't know why. I've always been that way. I'm just a really big fan of blush. So the next thing I'm going to do before I go into my face is going to be my highlighter and I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in Golden Sands Edition and this is $45. So this is my most expensive highlighter palette. And I think I'm going to go in the shade Seashells, but it's spelt weird. Could be not seashells at all. I'm not really certain. So I really do like this um, highlighter palette. It's really pretty. It's just not the one that I go to. So this is like my new precise little baby fan. And I wanted to try it. And it's not bad. It just gives me a really sharp line up there that I don't like. I need to do like a full face of like the most expensive whatever. 
that would be fun. The most expensive makeup Sephora has or something. All right, so now that we've done that, we are gonna go back into our eyes where I'm just going to place some color. I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush and I think I'm gonna go into freckle and just place that under my eye. So it brings color to it, but it's not taking away from that dark. And you can always take this dark color and bring it down too if you wanted to, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think that's a little too deep for what I'm trying to do. Maybe not, I think I am actually. So I think I'm actually going to be bringing in seed and put it underneath my eye as well. All right, and now that I have that done, I'm gonna go back in with the Huda palette and I'm going to pick up um, the same highlighter that I put on my cheeks and seashells and put that on my inner corner just to give it more of a pop. Because the shimmers that come with the Natasha Denona palette, they are pretty and they shimmer, but they're not like popping a highlighter in here. You know what I mean? So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and take my hairband out. All right, so the next step for the eye look are going to be my lashes. And the most expensive ones I actually have are only $12. These were the TARDIS Pro. These are vegan lashes in Batty. And honestly... <laughs> They're probably the most expensive I've ever owned. I don't really care for super expensive lashes. I don't have anything, I guess, against them. I just don't really care to spend like $30 on a pair of lashes. These are humongous. Like, these are super freaking long actual bands. So we're gonna go in with the most expensive mascara I own and that is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. So it's a decent mascara. It just chunks out really bad and I'm just not a fan of that. And because it's not waterproof, the bottom lashes will start to flake off throughout the day. So just be mindful of that. So now that we have that done, we're gonna go in with two more things and it's gonna be our lipstick and our setting spray. So my most expensive lipstick is the Chanel and this is the Rouge Allure. And this is in the shade 164. And this is $38. I think this lipstick is really pretty, but it's not like, you don't have to have this lipstick. There's nothing phenomenal that you're paying $80, $38 for. You're paying $38 because it's Chanel. That's about it. But no, I really don't think it's 100% necessary for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do the last part, which is the setting spray. And that is the Lancome Fix It, Forget It. And this is up to 24 hour makeup setting spray. And this is $34. So I have Morphe, which is 20 and I like it better. Urban Decay is a little bit cheaper. I like that one better. But this one isn't bad. It's pretty nice. It's just not my favorite. So I don't use it all the time. All right, guys, so that is it for my full face of my most expensive makeup that I own. Again, a lot of these products are not super duper like luxury expensive, but I also feel like a lot of them are really just kind of not worth what I paid for them. I love the Natasha Denona palette, but I honestly do not think that I would pay another $129 for a neutral eyeshadow like ever again. Actually, probably not even like a crazy color palette ever again. It's just a lot of money. There are just so many different options on the market right now that I feel like you would be wasting $129 on one palette. It is really good shadow, I will not lie. The quality is amazing, but I honestly feel like it's just not something that it's like, oh my god, I need it 100%, and it's really, really expensive. There are a couple of things that I do recommend on here. Um, the Tatcha Prep Stick, this will, or the Serum Stick for prepping. It's really nice. It fills my lines. The Pretty Vulgar Bronzer, and the Laura Mercier translucent powder, the Jouer blush palette. Um, but other than that, the rest of it is kind of like, mm, it's okay. It's not the worst products I've ever dealt with, but definitely not one of my go-to. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what your favorite item was and what is your most expensive makeup item that you own. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.